It has been today and in fact we saw the hottest day of the year yesterday and now we've gone and just reached it again. Uh, we saw 36 today and that was earlier on. Luckily with the sea breeze it's cooled off a little bit now and just before I came out it was 33. But over the last few weeks we've managed to escape the high temperatures so far because we had the Levanta. But of course yesterday the winds were in that sort of changeover period where, where they were going from east to westerly and if it had changed earlier in the day we could have seen temperatures much more higher but strangely the, te the wind didn't change until come the evening and it was 11 o'clock when we saw it reach 33 degrees. Today we've still had the heat over us and we've managed to get to 36 so far. We won't have the final figure till later on but if we've seen around 36 it's probably our hottest day since last August when we saw 37 um, and it's probably our hottest July day since 2015 when we saw 38.1. So it, is, it has been hot, <laughs> we've all felt it, but I think the most extraordinary thing was the heat yesterday evening and night. Well I was going to ask you actually, was this part of the course in end of July summer period or is there a system around and we're feeling it? Um, well, I think there has been, you know, a couple of uh, systems more where we've seen heat waves. We saw one in June, which came very early, really, for uh, the year, and we've seen sort of another two over through July now. And of course, we've not got into August yet. But people say the hottest part of the year comes end of July, early August. So we could still see more hotter temperatures coming over the next few weeks. Now, of course, with this heat, and we have seen uh, the hot temperatures and the effects of that in nearby Spain and Portugal and even in the UK, some people might come to the conclusion, rightly or wrongly, that you know, a change in climate has something to do with it. What would you say to that? Uh, well, it's hard with any one single item to put it down to climate change, but certainly over the last 10 years, we've seen some of the hottest temperatures in the UK, some of the hottest temperatures in Iberia as well. So, you know, you can't ignore that climate change has taken place and that we're warming. And one of the things of climate change is that we're going to see more hotter temperatures, we're going to see more droughts, we'll see more severe floods. Uh, and certainly I think we've seen that over the last few years.